Hey prospectors, it's Matt here from Payload Studios, and today we're taking a look at some of the things that you can do with the new circuits and systems blocks. We kick things off with a relatively simple design by Liechtenstein. It's a coin pusher machine. It's comprised of a simple delay loop to activate the pushers. Just press the button to start the machine, and then hit the toggle to turn it off. It uses the signal delay block to create a delay in the system, so there's enough time between each push. The signal is then looped back around. This means that once the machine is started, it will continue to work until told otherwise. On the other side of the circuit is a NOT gate and an AND gate. When activated, the loop will stop, and this is how the machine is turned off. Then we have Marmalade Gate with Lock. This is a simple gate that you can lock with a transmitter signal key. Both your signal transmitter and the receiver need to be on the same channel in order for the gates to open. When they are, you just need to roll over the beam sensor and open Sesame, the gate opens. Now we're taking a look at DVD Destroyer's automatic base gate. This is a base door that will automatically open when you drive up to it and, after a set delay, will close. It uses the beam sensor to send the signal through an OR gate. This allows the gate to stay open when you're inside the beam. Using a wireless signal set to the channel 2, the signal is sent through some signal extenders. At the end of the extenders is another wireless signal, this time set to channel 1, which will send the signal to a NOT gate. This is what adds a delay once you move out of the sensor beams. Next, things get a bit more complicated with the autistic gamers noughts and crosses. Relive one of your favourite childhood games using an array of intricately placed wireless transmitters and receivers. A signal is sent to each corresponding colour pixel block, so you can choose where you want to place your noughts or crosses. And because it's all wireless, you can move each controller around. And finally, we have Legionite's seven segment display. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how this thing works. Legionite has put a lot of thought and design into this thing, with also maybe a bit of witchcraft? It hurts my head trying to figure it all out. I do know that it uses a combination of logic and value blocks to display a number on the pixel blocks. If you'd like to try these techs out for yourself, links to all these workshop items are in the description.